Hi, I'm Tom Johnson at I'dRatherBeWriting.com. Today's tip involves making your site a little more secure. One thing I often run into with clients is that they don't have the security statements declared in their WP config file. So I'll show you how to check that and add them. You can't find this file by, by logging into your site. You have to go into FTP, so I use FileZilla, and you go into your root directory and you find the wp-config.php file. Don't be confused with the sample, that's just named that way so you don't override this other file. And you're gonna drag it to your desktop. I've already dragged it to my desktop and I changed uh, some of the information so I wouldn't expose myself. But I open it up in Notepad, plus plus, and you'll see that uh, there's some information at the top, like your database name, user, password. As I said, I just dummied these up. These aren't real because um, I don't want to be hacked. <laughs> All right. But down here where it says authentication, unique keys, uh, a lot of times people just have this blank. And this is really something you should add um, in order to, to increase the security of your site. And sometimes this is blank because people used an, uh, an auto installer from, from a web host and it just didn't include them. So what you do is you copy this URL here and then you go out to a web page Oops, paste and it shows you these four. Now uh, this is actually somewhat of an old URL. Uh, they've actually updated it. So sometimes your URL will just say this um, but in the latest wp-config there's also uh, some more security statements so type the word salt at the end if you don't automatically have that and all this is doing is generating these randomly uh, so you don't have to come up with them on your own but copy these come back to your wp config uh, folder and paste them in there and now uh, okay the technical aspects of this I'm not really sure about what, what all these do, but they do make it more difficult for hackers to get into your site. So you can come and you can make these yourself. Uh, this site or this URL here just generates some random strings here that you can add. Now a couple other, I don't think you want spaces, but a couple other notes. You can actually just change this. It's not like, it's not like this information up here where if you change your database name or the user or the password or the host, your site won't appear. It will say error establishing database connection. But here you can change these and it won't affect the display of your site. I'm not entirely sure why, uh, but these little authentication unique keys can be swapped out. Um, all right, so once you make these updates here, uh, you want to save your save your file and then you'll go back into FTP find it on your desktop and drag it back over here and overwrite the other one all right I'm Tom Johnson at I'd rather be writing dot com and if you have uh, more or if you want to find more tips about WordPress come check out my site or feel free to drop me a line at Tom at I'd rather be writing dot com